getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. on Earth. A whole lot of them. Goddess. Fire, friendly Try them again. No, sir. Try them again. Present an order, sir. Been getting nothing. The reinforcements have arrived.
Chabestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Vardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reaper seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower, to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go!
information from Palavan Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus! Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you.
think we're done here. Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Damn it. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. You still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of you? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. You're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. 
Have you seen General Victor? I'm now for you. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. 75? Not sure. Sounds right. Hard to see a beautiful ship like that go down. Not to mention the men serving on her. Yeah. Yeah. We should go. They said the Primark was headed south. Survivors. Damn it. Crash like that is not surprising. So, Loco, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Tolarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. 
Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian Hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is... deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this moon. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Archura's station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire Second Fleet to provide cover for the Third and the Fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered. But the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage. But can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. 
So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky? Building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the Archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. The elusive man implied as much. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Gara said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. And when you put it that way... The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. Follow Joe, your lead. what's that sound? 
Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire, or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that we can agree. Was that Edie who just walked by? <laughs> yes it was. Joker is going to have a field day with this. Two of our dreadnoughts have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around, and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. He's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm sure it will, sir. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. What you saw back on Palavin is proof of that. Still not convinced I should have left it behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. 
But not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. What about you? Any word from your family? My mother's in the Alliance. Haven't heard from her since Earth got hit. I'm sure sh she's... okay. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed General saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After the Collector base, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. That was a problem? Well, he used to work for CSEC. Very methodical, by the book kind of guy. He railed against people who bent the rules, which was usually me. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit parts of it sounded crazy. Working with the elusive man, attacking the Collector base. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Good to be back on board, Shepard. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at yes, Huerta I Memorial Hospital. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. 
Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? If I have anything to say about it, yes. I'm glad. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... Her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. I wonder how many families are getting torn apart by the Reapers. I don't want to think about it. Seems hopeless sometimes. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus by Henley. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. It's quiet up here. Weird that it's so peaceful here with what's going on. Anxious to get back at it. Great view. Saw a few places down there I'd like to check out. It's quiet up here. Weird that it's so peaceful here with what's going on. Shepard, one moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Shepard, there you are. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <sighs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's... something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard, but you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. 
He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises.